Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my recipe for these delicious and fluffy cinnamon buns. Let's get right into it. For the ingredients I am adding whole milk, one pack of yeast which is 8 grams and granulated sugar. I'm just whisking this and allow the yeast to eat the sugar. The yeast has worked its magic, so now I'm adding vanilla, melted butter, and all these ingredients are going to be found in the description box below. One egg. I am also adding some water to this. I'm just going to whisk this. Now it's time to add the flour. So I'm adding my flour, small portions at a time. The last thing I'm adding is salt because it's gonna kill the yeast and it won't rise as I want it to. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscription button, click the like button and the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you're going to be notified. Pat this off and now I'm going to change my spoon. I'm adding the last batch of flour and I'm not going to use my hands just yet. I want to fold all my flour in first before I use my hand to mix. Now I can put it onto my surface. Now I'm going to mix this and allow the gluten to form completely. until it's nice and smooth. I'm only adding quarter cup of dusting flour to this. Because I don't want to change the recipe too much. I want my buns to be nice and soft. That's enough, I only used about two tablespoons. Now I'm gonna add this to my mixing bowl that was lightly dusted. Now I'm covering this up and allow it to rest for one hour. To make this filling, in this bowl I have one stick of butter which is 113 grams or half cup of butter. I am adding brown sugar to this. I am adding two tablespoons of cinnamon. And I am adding quarter teaspoon of salt to balance the sweetness. I'm just gonna mix this up. And I don't like the texture of brown sugar in my buns. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get it to come as fine as possible. I am creaming this because the grains of the sugar are way too big than how I like it. So I'm creaming it to break down the sugar particles and make it nice and creamy. I'm just giving this a nice mix and this is ready to add to my buns. Now I'm going to finish these off. Now 
Now I'm going to roll this in a rectangular shape. Now I have my nice rectangular shape. It's very, very soft. I am gonna plaster this with my flame. I am just dumping this all out. Using my spatula, I'm just gonna spread it all over, but I'm going to leave one inch without any filling all the way around. And you just wanna do a push and pull motion if you are using a spatula but you don't have to use a spatula so as I said before I am leaving the edge about one inch naked I like to get a nice even layer and make my work look very neat and tidy And when I roll it up, I want to roll it up very tight. I don't want to leave too much air pockets. You will get tempted to just roll it up, but I would not advise that you just roll it up. You want to tighten everything as you go along because you are going to have those air pockets if you just roll it up. So just be patient and roll it. Now I am finished rolling this up and I just want to pinch the edges. Seal everything up so that it wouldn't unfold. And I want to turn this on the seam side down. For the edges, I like to fold my edges in. I'm going to cut these in one and a half inch with a very sharp knife. And then I'm trying to get 12. Your knife has to be very sharp to get clean cuts. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel please click that subscribe button click the like button click the notification bell above at the right corner and I'm asking everyone to please share my video so that I can get my content out to a wider audience beautiful they're gonna remain on my countertop and rest for about one hour or until they have doubled the size Now I'm going to bake these until they are nice and golden brown. For the cream cheese icing, I am going in with cream cheese, butter, icing sugar, and I'm just going to mix this. To this I am adding 2-3 to three tablespoons of heavy cream or you can use powder milk, mix it very thick and you can use it. And this is done time to top off our cinnamon buns the buns are now done baking and I'm gonna allow them to cool for about 15 minutes and then while they're still warm I will add the cream cheese I am NOT adding cream cheese to all of them I am adding cream cheese to six of my buns Now I am adding my 
and cream cheese icing just at the top. And there you have it, cinnamon buns. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click the like button, click the subscription button, click the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you will know. That's it for now. See you on another good day for another great recipe.